Do you have a fursuit you want to protect your fursuit feet while performing a round? Fursuits can have really delicate feet that are easily damaged. Have you ever looked at a hotel's floor or a sidewalk? They're disgusting. If you wouldn't want to walk around it in your regular human bare feet, then you probably don't want to walk around it in your fursuit feet that are hard to replace and difficult to clean. Hi, I'm Waffles, and I'm going to show you how we can make some quick and dirty and easy fursuit sandals that we can use to protect our beans. Before I show you how you can make fursuit sandals just like this, go ahead and check if you're subscribed. A lot of you guys aren't. And just liking the video is something that's free that you can do to help boost these videos in the algorithm for me. I thank you guys so much. Now let's talk about the very first piece you'll need to make your sandals, and that's your sole. Let's talk about the materials we're going to need to build our fursuit sandals. The first thing and then the sole of our sandal is going to be this high density foam used for workout equipment. It usually goes like under exercise bikes or treadmills or like when you're lifting weights to protect your floor. And it's going to work great for our fursuit feet. It has one side that's really smooth and then the other side that has like a cool textured effect and it'll give us some grip on the ground. Next up, we have this nylon plastic strapping that we're going to use for the straps on our sandal. The good news about this material is that it comes in a ton of different colors so you can personalize your stuff however you want and it's really strong. It is so much stronger than people expect and we won't have to worry about it snapping at all while we're walking and performing around. And finally, the last thing that we're going to need are these simple plastic um, clips used for like outdoors equipment or camping gear. They're really cheap, you can get a whole bunch of them. The only part you need to remember is that it needs to be the same length as our strap so that they just slide together. All in all, the materials for this project cost about $34. Now, that's probably on the higher end. Because I have really big fursy pods, I used a lot more floor mats than I think most people need. If you really hunted around, you could probably get this, you could probably make your fursy sandals for about 25 bucks. Let's talk about the materials you're gonna to need to build your sandals. First off, we're gonna to have to use a sewing machine to affix all of our straps together. If you don't know how to use a sewing machine, don't worry about it too much. This is probably the easiest project to learn on because you're just um, sewing like big square straps together and it's quite easy. We're also gonna need a craft knife to cut things, a marker to mark things, and then finally a hot glue to connect our two pieces of the sole together. You can also use spray adhesive, either one works. The first thing that we need to do to make sandals for our fursuit feet is to go ahead and trace out the sole of our sandal. The way we're going to do that is by simply lining up our foot on top of our foam. For most fursuits, it's going to be as simple as just tracing it out like this and then using a marker to go all the way around. In this case here though, the, the fursuit we're making sandals for is a plush suit with attached feet, so it's going to be a little bit more tricky. Hopefully though for you, it should be pretty straightforward. It's definitely not perfect, but perfect is the enemy of done. Now that we've gotten our pod traced out on our foam, the next step is to go ahead and cut out a master blank that we're gonna use to cut out the rest of our foam. Now using this first one as a template, we can go ahead and cut out three more, two for each feet. Now that we've gotten the sole of our sandals cut out, we can go ahead and add the holes for the straps. We're going to do a total of seven holes with five on the bottom and two on top. For the five on the bottom, it's really easy. We're going to add two kind of here in the center and then three at the bottom with one being for the back. If you want to know where to put the top two holes, there's actually a really easy trick you can do where you turn the foot over and then match it up flush with the paw. And then wherever your toes come together, that's where you're going to put the holes. Remember, the straps go between the toes, so wherever the toes come together, that's where the strap hole goes. In order to make sure that our sandals properly fit, we need to first go ahead and build a prototype, test fit everything, and then we can permanently affix all of our pieces in place. The very first thing is that we need a reference point on the foot. I've taken a length of strap, wrapped it around my ankle, and put it in exactly where I want the sandal's ankle to go. So we're gonna use this as basically the reference point for all of our pieces going forward. Then I went ahead and cut five lengths of strap, and these are gonna go in the three top holes and then in the two toe holes right here. We're just gonna go ahead, thread the pieces through the holes. It's a little tricky at first, but it's super satisfying. 
Once we have all of our straps pushed through, we can take the sole of our sandal and place it against our paw. Now, using these straps, we can go ahead and hook them to our main angle piece. The way we're doing that is we're just taking it and then tucking it under on itself and then pinning it in place. I've already done this paw over here so you can get a good idea of what I'm talking about. See, it's all attached all the way around. It's quite, it holds on really well. Now that we have everything put in place and adjusted, we can go ahead and add the last strap we needed to finish our sandals. It's going to connect the two holes we left in the beginning and then stretch across the top of the toes and connect to the other side. Once we have that in place and adjusted, we can then talk about how we're going to hook all this together. We're going to use loops on the end of our straps to thread through our other um, straps, creating one kind of unified piece. I've already done this one here, now we just need to go ahead and add the loops to the rest of the straps. For reference, we're adding the loops to the two front straps and then the three back straps. We are not adding loops to this guy here. And just to give you another example, the way I'm making these loops, um, I'm folding over the fabric and then sewing it in this pattern here with my sewing machine. Here's a quick tip, if your strap material ever gets frayed like this, all you need to do is cut off the end, and then using a lighter, just melt the very tip of it. That'll fuse it together and then make sure it doesn't become frayed anymore. So now that we've gotten all of our loops put in place, we can go ahead and add the buckles for our sandals. The first one's gonna be really easy. Right where the two ends of our ankle come together, we're just gonna feed each side into the strap. And then for the other one here, with the strap that goes across the toes, the excess strap that I had originally, I'm just gonna snip this and then feed each side of that into the buckle. I've already done this side over here just so you can get an idea of how it looks. Not only is this an easy no-sew solution, it also means that we can cinch these straps down to either loosen or tighten our sandals depending on how they fit. Now that we've gotten the buckles installed, we can go ahead and finally start to think about cleaning the bottom of our sandals up. I'm just going to go ahead and start with cutting, um, cutting off all the excess portions of the strap. We're going to go ahead and leave a small segment of the strap left and we're going to use this to glue down. That already looks so much better. Let me do a quick little lighter run just to make sure the tips of these are all nice and fused. You really don't need much. All you just need to do is prevent it from fraying. Next up, we're just gonna use our hot glue to glue down all these straps. I'm making a point to make sure that the strap lays naturally. That'll just help your uh, fabric from getting kind of kinked or turned the wrong way as you're first sitting and moving around a lot. I don't know about you, YouTube chat, but hot gluing stuff is one of my true favorites. It's just easy, it's fun, and the hot glue is nice and warm. It's just a really satisfying process. Making fursuit sandals is a great beginner project. It's not very difficult. It's a great value object that you can use to protect your fursuit and all the parts to make it are really cheap and affordable. If you have really nice indoor fursuit feet, it's a really good idea to protect them because they get super dirty. And the last thing you want is like your photo shoot to be ruined because your uh, felt paws are all really gross and dirty. I think you guys know what comes next. Now that we got everything glued down, we can just go ahead and glue the soles down of our sandals. I'm using some big clips here just to clip everything in place, making it easier to glue, but you don't actually need to do this. As long as you have it all lined up and it's pretty close, you should be fine. So while we wait for the glue to dry, we can go ahead and knock out the very last thing that we need to do to finish our sandals. That being trimming off any loose ends and then wherever our sandals don't quite line up, I'm just going to take a knife and trim this down really quick. That's the last thing that we're going to need to do, so let's get everything finished and check out how our sandals are going to look.
So what do you think YouTube chat? I'm really happy with how these sandals turned out. They were surprisingly easy to make and a lot cheaper than I expected. If you've been wondering about this fursuit that we've been making these sandals for, it's called Cashew. It was made by the Plush Army. Now, before I dive heat stroke, let me get out of this thing so that we can talk about what's coming up next. Hopefully this video helped you make your very own pair of fursuit sandals. Making sandals is an easy intro project that just about anyone can accomplish and it helps protect your fursuit. If you're interested in making fursuits specifically, I have another series on this channel where we're going through making a very own fursuit piece by piece, step by step. So I'll leave a link so that you can check that out too. If not, thank you guys again so much and I can't wait to see you guys again soon.